XMLB player Brett Boone mocks sexual harassment scandals as liberal BS. Two more men of power and influence in the media and entertainment worlds took a tumble Wednesday, when NBC fired Today host Matt Lauer and Minnesota Public Radio did the same with Garrison Keillor of the Prairie Home Companion fame. But while their cases, as well as those of the likes of Charlie Rose, Harvey Weinstein and Roy Moore, are reflective of a time in which women are feeling increasingly empowered to open up about incidents of sexual harassment and assault, at least one former MLB player isn't impressed. In fact, three-time All-Star Brett Boone thinks it's all a bunch of liberal BS. He made his thoughts apparent in a direct message exchange with Seattle Post Intelligencer reporter Stephen Cohen who tweeted out images of Boone's messages. The 48-year-old Boone, who played for the Mariners, Reds, Braves, Padres and Wins, and who had a brief stint in the Nationals organization, joked about being victimized himself. I got sexually harassed twice today, he told Cohen. The Starbucks girl smiled at me and the woman at right aid flirted with me. Boone said he was getting a lawyer to combat the unacceptable behavior, adding law as in laughing out loud, to indicate that he wasn't being serious. Cohen later reported that Boone was apparently responding to a tweet the reporter had posted expressing dismay at the Keeler story, in which Minnesota Public Radio said it moved to fire the 75-year-old humorist after recently learning of allegations of his inappropriate behavior with an individual who worked with him. After hearing from Boone, Cohen asked him why he felt like it was a good idea to make light of sexual harassment in an unsolicited message to a reporter. Because it's a joke and I have no clue who you are, nor do I care. Just sick of all the liberal bias and everyone all of a sudden is offended, Boone replied. Sorry that bothered you. Go back to whatever you do in your PC world, and once again, I apologize if you were offended, Boone continued. You definitely would not be allowed to play golf in my foursome. .da. Pick.twitter.com slash rx1cvm0sq1, Stephen Cohen, at Skohimpy, November 29, 2017 Shortly thereafter, Boone messaged Cohen again to joke that a girl at another store told him to have a good day. According to the reporter, after seeing his direct messages tweeted out, the former infielder messaged others on Twitter to say he was sick of bulls, people and was being real and telling it like it is. A few hours later, Boone issued a public apology on Twitter. Oh, there are zero excuses for what I said earlier. None, he said. It was 100% wrong. It was offensive. It was inappropriate. It was not remotely productive to any conversation regarding harassment. I apologize and it will never happen again. Oh, there are zero excuses for what I said earlier. None. It was 100% wrong. It was offensive. It was inappropriate. It was not remotely productive to any conversation regarding harassment. I apologize and it will never happen again. Brett Boone, at The Boone 29. November 30, 2017 Boone hails from a prominent baseball family, one reportedly descended from frontiersman Daniel Boone. His father Bob Boone, grandfather Ray Boone and brother Aaron Boone, all played in the major leagues, and Brett Boone had a 14-year career that included four gold glove and two silver slugger awards. After a Twitter user with a handle and avatar of a woman's name and face told Boone that his comments about sexual harassment constituted a letdown, and that he had been one of the user's favorite mariners, he replied, Hope I still am. Read more from the post, former, and future. Tennessee coach Lane Kiffin refuses to stop trolling the Vols NFL and players' complete agreement on league support of activism enjoy Kirk Cousins' final games with the Redskins. This is about more than money. Lonzo Ball's passing ability isn't enough to overcome his historically bad shooting.